Well, John, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate you doing the duet. Oh, man, it was a lot of fun. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of this. I've really enjoyed looking at all the other videos come out mm -hmm. with uh, some of my good friends. And yeah. so I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know, uh, one of the reasons that I asked you to do this is when I started uh, doing this project, I thought I'd get all of, you know, the people that influenced me or had, you know, some kind of effect on me when I first came to town. And you're definitely one of the mm -hmm. first trombone players that I got to meet and mm -hmm. uh, play with when I was auditioning for the U here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, that day when you came to audition. Uh, Victor Bronco was my roommate at the time. Mm -hmm. And I remember Tom Ashworth saying, yeah, I've got this, this incredible mm -hmm. player, great classical player, great jazz player from North Texas. And you know, can he crash with you? And so, yeah, it was really great to meet and hang with you on that visit. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for putting me up in your house. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, Victor is going to be on an upcoming uh, duet in volume two. Very cool. Can't yeah. wait. Okay. So the title of the tune, The Intellectual, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know very few trombone players that can say they have a doctorate in trombone, uh, incredible performance career on trombone, and have also gone back to school to get a master's in electrical engineering or currently working in the field for electrical engineering. Right. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd say intellectual, but maybe short attention span. Uh, <laughs> I uh, actually started in engineering, and mm -hmm. one of my college professors uh, at University of Kansas said, hey, you know, this trombone thing, uh, you you know, you know, could give it a try if you want. And, and uh I don't know if it was just hubris or what, but it felt really good to hear that. And of course, there was, I found myself spending all of my free time mm -hmm. in the music building. I wasn't hanging out in the electrical engineering building. Yeah. And so, you know, fast forward, you know, I, I really enjoyed my career in music, but teaching here at U of M, uh, there's all these great departments and all mm -hmm. these smart people on, on both banks. And I really just wanted to get over to the East Bank and took a couple math classes. And then it uh, kind of stuck, and I ended up with the master's, and now I'm working for as a scientist at Abbott Labs. So it's it's having feels like the best of both worlds, being able to play the trombone and do the math and science thing. That's great. Yeah. So I wrote this in like a swinging George Roberts style, and mm -hmm. one of the reasons I, by the way, I should tell the people at home that you know, of course, you're an incredible tenor trombone player. You play euphonium. Mm -hmm. You also play tuba. Just an all-around incredible mm -hmm. low brass player. Thanks. But I, I picked bass trombone in particular because I, one of the first gigs we played together on, I believe, was Jasmine Big Band. You were playing bass trombone. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, big band bass trombone playing is one of my favorite things to do. And in fact, that's how I got into playing the bass trombone. I was, my focus as an undergrad was definitely uh, as like a classical tenor player mm -hmm. and a euphonium player. And I didn't really work on improvising uh, a whole lot. And there were some really fine jazz players at, at the school. So my way into the top jazz band was actually to uh, start doubling on bass trombone. And uh, it just it stuck. And to this day, I probably play about as much bass trombone as tenor mm -hmm. on on jobs so yeah something i really enjoy so john i've had quite a few people that are also teachers mm -hmm. and one of the things about you is that you're definitely very highly regarded as a low brass teacher in the area and not only teach here at the university of minnesota but also have taught many very successful high school students oh well thank you uh certainly when i got into music i was thinking primarily about being a player and that was what I enjoyed doing more than anything else. And of course, uh, I think, you know, a lot of players teach in some capacity, mm -hmm. whether it's at a university or a private studio. And so I got doing that. And that's really where I found my greatest joy mm -hmm. was teaching private lessons and actually particularly uh, young, you know, middle school, high school students mm -hmm. where you are not necessarily trying to turn them into trombone players, but turn them into you know, uh, ticket buyers, concert goers, mm -hmm. all these things. Uh, so yeah, that's been, that's been my favorite aspect of my music career has been the mm -hmm. teaching, uh, here at the U I'm really grateful to Tom Ashworth that uh, I studied with him for my doctorate and then they mm -hmm. kept me on to teach euphonium. And I think this is my 17th year. Wow. So yeah, hopefully many more. <laughs> and that's definitely a connection that we have is mm -hmm. both had the opportunity to study with Tom. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, John, you're playing all over in town right now, uh, playing with Minnesota Opera, mm -hmm. playing a lot of the 
touring shows uh, in town. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, sure. So yeah, the opera is uh, one of my favorite things that I do. Mm-hmm. I started playing there in 2010, and I think every musician knows how nice it is to have that regular gig mm-hmm. where you get those dates in the calendar, you know, eight yeah. months in advance, no and, and something you can count on. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure you know you can relate to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and Broadway stuff, uh, I've always loved playing the shows, and and you know you're a doubler like me, and mm-hmm. so it's it's. Uh, uh, fun to get an opportunity to play some tenor and some bass on the mm-hmm. same job. Uh, I'm doing a little less show work this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got married uh, about a year ago, and we actually have a kid on the way. Oh, wow. Yeah, and and uh, baby's due in March. And, of course, there's a couple Broadway shows coming in March that mm-hmm. I had to decline. You did the right thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, that, there's there's never a better reason. But, but mm-hmm. you know, I look forward to doing some more in the future and hopefully playing with you a lot more. Yeah, you bet. Hey, uh, congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you. This is the first time I'm hearing this. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Well, what do you say we go record this tune? All right, let's do it. All right. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.